Okay, I'm going to dry brine this chicken, and the reason is I'm going to dry brine it rather than wet brine it is because you want to get the moisture and the salt in there, but when you wet brine it, then after it comes out, you're always concerned about getting it dry, 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 so that when it goes on the barbecue, you get a crispy skin. With the dry brining, which I'm going to do now, that salt is going to draw out the moisture, but when it's over, I don't have all the water issues going on. So I'm gonna make sure I get salt all over, all around the entire chicken. And this is gonna result in a much more crispier skin. Okay, and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight and right up till I decide to do my cook on the barbecue, on my Kenmoto Jewel. And I'm also, if you notice, it's also on a, or a rack, which is gonna allow, allow a lot more of a, a circulation of the air, so it's not sitting in its own juices. Okay, like I say, make sure you get it all the way around, all the sides, everywhere covered. And then we'll be back tomorrow when I actually put the seasoning on it and get it ready to go on the Kamado Joel with the rotisserie and all the proper seasoning to be continued tomorrow. Okay, here's the bird. It's now been in the fridge for about 24 hours, and as you can see, I've mounted it on the skewer. And I want to put some spice on there, and to make the spice stick, I'm going to brush it with some oil. Not just any oil, but a special oil that I've made to make an oil to rub the chicken in, because I like to get herbs like garlic and thyme infused and sage as well infused into the flavor but if you put them directly on the chicken all they're going to do is burn so i'm using olive oil here in a frying pan i'm using olive oil because of its high smoke point it won't burn once it's on the chicken and i'm just going to put some thyme in here and i'm going to put some garlic in there and a little bit of sage now i'm just going to let that simmer for a few minutes and then once that's done, I'm going to take my strainer, I'm gonna strain it off, and so I just have the infused oil. Okay, so now my oil is infused, and I'll take it over to my strainer, strain it out. Nicely done. Voila. So I'm just gonna brush this all over there. I'm just gonna do this one side first. And then I'm going to some of the special spice that I've also made. Okay, I make my own spice mix for this particular recipe because it was dry brined in salt. You don't want to use these prepared ones because they have salt. Traeger, lovely salt, uh, spice rub, but first ingredient, go salt. Third ingredient, salt. Third ingredient, salt. Fourth ingredient, salt. So that's why I avoid these when I'm dry brining the chicken. Instead, I make my own rub. I have some smoked paprika in there, some ground pepper, and some onion powder, not onion salt. I've never really coated it with a little help from time to time. I'm just going to brush the side now. Sprinkle a little more powder. Back side of it. I think that should just about do it. That's going to give the skin a wonderful flavor. When it's on the barbecue and it's going to crisp up, those spices are just going to go right into the skin. And it's just going to be amazing. Next step, the fire is almost ready and we will go out and put it up. I now have the fire lit and it'll take about 20 to 25 minutes for that to come up to the temperature and then we'll start cooking.
Okay, here we go. We're on the way out and we're coming to the barbecue. I'm going to set it up on the jotisserie. There we go. It's set. And I'm just going to turn it on. And there we have the beginning. Okay, we're sitting at exactly 350 degrees. I'm going to lift up here and just take a look at this little baby. It is looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. The internal temperature of the chicken is actually about 120 right now, and we're aiming for 165. Okay, here is the chicken off of the barbecue, and we're going to give that about a 10-minute rest before we actually portion it up 